Next, we are going to create instances of category. This will be done in the new category view controller. This is the view controller that the user is taken to when they press the plus button on the categories view controller. And this is our chance to actually create a new category. Let's navigate down to the save category function. This is the function that is called whenever the user clicks the button save for the category. And let's actually create the new instance of our category. So let category equals category. And again, we're going to use the initializer that we created in our NS Manage object subclass that simply takes in the title. Here, we are needing to get our title text fields text, but this is a type optional, and this initializer does not take in type optional, so we need to deal with that case by giving it a default value using the nil coalescing operator if that text is nil. Now that we have this category, we actually need to save this from our managed context to the persistent store. And to do that, we need to have access to our managed context and we need to perform a save to that context. So let's do a do, block a code. And in this do, we need to mark this line of code with try, access our category that we've just created from that category access the managed object context, and from there, say save. And notice save is marked with a throws keyword, meaning this can throw an exception. If this occurs and does throw an exception, we need to have a catch block where we print off could not save category. And now that we're actually catching it, that error that saying our errors that were not handled have been resolved and that will go away. Dale, after we save something, is it natural to stay on that view controller or go back one? Uh, we would go back one. The user is going to enter into the form, hit save, and then automatically go back to the list of categories. So let's handle that case by saying self.navigationController dot pop view controller. Let's give it an animation of true. Now that we've done that, we can build and run our application. And now we can click the plus button on the initial view controller, um, give it a title of a category, Apple products, and we can click save. And that is actually saved to core data, but we're not actually fetching from core data yet, but it's there. So in the next video, we're going to fetch the categories and display them in the table view.